Hi, I'm Kevin Page. With the amount of information available today on the internet, you can do a lot of detective work right from your computer. One of the first things you can do is just Google the buyer's name. You can find lots of information just doing that. Another thing to do is look them up on LinkedIn. This is kind of like a Facebook page for business people. If the buyer is a corporation or LLC, you can look them up at a place called sunbiz.org. This site is from the Florida Division of Corporations. This will tell you the directors, uh, directors of the corporations, who they are, show their last filing, how long they've been in business, this type of thing. You can also reverse this and look up the person's name that's a director, and you can see how many corporations or LLCs they've been involved with. Now, if you see that they've had lots of different corporations and they've been dissolved, this could be a red flag. Why are these guys always changing companies? Now, you can also look them up on the Lee County Property Appraisers page. This site has a ton of information, and we've done some videos on how to get around on that site. I strongly recommend that you check it out. One of the things you can also do is go to LEPA, LEPA.org, and see how many properties they own. I have seen these offers where the buyer says they are buying for a long-term hold because they're just expecting appreciation long-term hold. They're going to wait it out. But when you check it out on the site, you find out that they don't own one single property, not one lot anywhere. So if they're gonna hold it for a long time, how come they don't own anything? This tells you right there that all they're trying to do is flip it and they have no intention whatsoever of closing on your lot unless they find another buyer. So these are some good tips to get you started. Feel free to contact me by phone or email with any questions or concerns. Thanks and have a great day.